Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of RNA biology. And we were studying about the RNA editing enzymes and different types are there and their names are listed here and they some of them have the RNA binding domain and some of them do not have but they will take the help of other proteins and they find an RNA target that is called cooperativity of proteins but all of them must have the deaminase domain and RNA editing functions we need to know that how important the RNA editing is so A to I we know that adenosine gets deaminated becomes inosine or inosine so this A to I editing in glutamine receptor is very very important so glu R2 because glutamine is a neurotransmitter and it has to be acted upon by specific receptor that is like we will not go into the neuroscience more in detail but time being you understand that neurotransmitters are bound by specific receptors and based on this binding these receptors open up their ion channel and this opening will allow the influx of ions into the neuron that is causing a depolarization and an action potential like I am speaking you are hearing it's because of constant action potential being created in your auditory nerve you are able to see because constant action potential is being created in your eyes because of the photons hitting the retina so same way in our central nervous system you are able to understand you are able to think you are able to perform a task everything because of the communication and 80 percent of our central nervous system synapses usually have glutamate as their synapse we will not go further into the detail but in this case what happened this CAG which is bringing in an amino acid glutamine is now changed into CIG in into arginine and this is an important interesting change that is occurring into the uh, glu R2 glu R2 receptor so glu R2 normally the neurotransmitter receptors are made of multiple subunit glu R1 glu R2 glu R3 glu R4 normally five units come together and can act like a like you take uh, five pens and put a rubber band so if you twist them you can see it will in the center portion where the rubber band is there it will seal but if you keep all the five straight then you can see in the center there is a opening or hole so like that simplistic way I can explain that is how the uh, modifications happen in the protein structure to open and close the ion channel so what happens is glu R2 subunit other subunits of this uh, glutamate receptor is unaffected okay so this has to be read as not glutamine receptor it is glutamate receptor okay and the amino acid that changes that is causing the uh, that is causing this uh, change because of this RNA editing is glutamine to arginine so CAG is changed into CIG so glu R2 subunit of the AMPA receptor and they have amino 3 hydroxy 5 methyl so this is the long name of the AMPA so um, normally glutamate receptors are of three types one is NMDA receptor another is AMPA receptor another is kinate receptor so AMPA receptor is the one which is governing the RNA editing and which cause the survival of the organism so the AMPA's name is alpha amino 3 hydroxy 5 methyl 4 iso sa so lipropoinic acid this indicates that some neurotransmitter receptors can bind onto certain chemicals don't think AMPA is a neurotransmitter don't think glut um, NMDA is a neurotransmitter these are all molecules that can actively bind but the neurotransmitter endogenously produced neurotransmitter that binds is the glutamate which is derived from the 
glutamic acid amino acid oh many many amino acids are uh, used to create certain derivatives that can act as neurotransmitters and those glutamate receptor that have a high affinity for ampa chemical ampa we call them as ampa receptor and we are talking about the glu r2 subunit of ampa receptor so this is how it look like so in the left hand side a panel a you have the structure that resembles a typical uh, space filling model that is basically the crystallographic structure crystallog uh, this is derived using x ray crystallography and at b what you are seeing is calcium impermeable or calcium permeable so what we should understand what is the mutation this blue color one is the subunit that is m that is the glue glutamate subunit that is glue r2 of the ampa receptor and there are other subunits which are unaffected so what happens when you are having arginine that is edited that glutamine should have been there that single letter code is q and if glutamine is there that is the normal situation that the gene encoding glu r2 is giving rise to glu r2 subunit protein and normally it is supposed to contain glutamine that is written as q and this is what the protein you should get it and this subunit if it comes into the ampa receptor it will allow calcium ion of course it allows sodium also it allows calcium ion calcium ion is bigger than sodium ion so like in your house you can happily go um, mouse also can go happily but if an elephant has to come into your house your room should be big and the door should be at least the size of an elephant or the width of an elephant then only it can go so sodium can easily go but calcium if it has to go it has to have a bigger opening so normal case it allows the entry of calcium whereas if this glutamine from here is changed into arginine because of rna editing where it is editing cag is becoming cig and glutamine is no more coming but instead arginine is coming in the m glu r2 subunit of this ampa receptor you do not allow entry of this calcium it will allow sodium okay remember don't think that this channel is closed channel is not closed channel is open provided the glutamate neurotransmitter is binding in both case whether it is changed or not changed glutamate should be there in order to otherwise by default the channel remains closed no entry for any ions but when glutamate is bound it will open or the opening become such a way that you are able to allow only sodium calcium is not welcome like in houses if you have toddlers in the house small kids are there in the house you may have seen in the door they will make a halfway stoppage like around um, around maybe some one one and a half feet height a, a door they will make it so that the adults can just put their leg across and go the toddler cannot jump toddler will be stuck in the room so door is closed but not closed so instead of closing the door you make a halfway door halfway door you make like in offices also you can see like big officials are there they will have some half door that provides some privacy to the officer who is inside so people can't just dash in or cannot peep in but the door is not fully closed so something similar logic applies when the arginine is present because of the mutation or because of the editing of the cag to cig a is changing into i inosine and now you are having arginine then it allows sodium but calcium is not welcome and if it is such a editing did not happen calcium also welcome so calcium permeability is a decisive factor for whether or not this mutation or this alteration is welcome or not but the most interesting thing is that entire ampa receptor in the central nervous system entire ampa receptor undergoes this change means we should understand the gene of gene of this individual have default is glutamine which allows calcium but you don't want it so in entire case wherever this subunit is expressed you 
how to have this editing and you convert it into arginine to make sure that calcium is not welcome sodium is welcome to cause this depolarization of the neuron it has got lot of other implication because calcium is divalent sodium is monovalent if calcium also comes in depolarization becomes much faster just like you think about it if you, you you are able to eat one chapati right you will make one chapati into maybe some four pieces or five pieces or six pieces and you eat what if if i make one entire chapati fold it and put it into your mouth then you may hold it but you simply won't be able to chew it and you won't be able to gulp it if you do that there is a good chance that you will get shocking same logic applies if the depolarization happens way too high because sodium is also coming and calcium also is coming that can create lot of problems to the depolarization depolarization happens much more than what is required so the conductance there will be a shortage of ions and depolarization become heavier and there can have lot of problems to the action potential creation in the neurons so you want sodium but you don't want potassium so the way of controlling the uh, not sorry not potassium calcium sodium is welcome and you don't want calcium along with sodium so they you are kind of controlling the size of the hole of this channel that is what you should understand that the editing is very important for the functioning of a neurotransmitter receptor now let us see how important it is so a to i editing in glu r2 by adar2 that is the enzyme adenosine deaminase acting on rna and two basically is the number of genes which you are identifying many times if you study genomics you will say gene 1 gene 2 gene 3 gene 4 like that many plenty many isoforms etc will be there and you simply give them the numbering adar2 is one of the adar family uh, enzymes that acts in uh, central nervous system cns stands for uh, central nervous system and it is important in q r editing that means converting q to arginine so this editing is very important so cag is bringing in glutamine and cig is bringing in arginine and the mice lacking a to i editing do not survive how important it is that is quite thought provoking that means you simply have to get rid of this adar2 enzyme or you create a mutation such that the glutamine remains as glutamine it is not available for editing then if a to i editing is prevented what happen the mice will not survive you can imagine how crucial this modification is but it can be rescued by changing the glu r to q to r so if you are changing the gene glu r to q to r by artificially creating a change or a mutation you are not depending on the because the organism is mutant because it is no more producing adar2 adar2 is not being produced it will not recognize this as a substrate but you may wonder how you can think that adar2 is doing only this function maybe it is doing 10 other function of course it might be doing 10 other functions but none are as important as this q to r editing other functions may be compromised because adar2 is uh, lacking but the moment you complement the animal that is called a rescue experiment complement this glu r2 with arginine containing version of the gene then the organism is able to survive so this is what you should understand that some rna editing are so crucial and the life and death hang by a balance of rna editing and to a highly developed mammal such as mice so rna editing when you are looking further into this um, ampar receptor and adar2 is the enzyme and you have got this region is between exon 34 and exon 5 and in the unedited condition you have exon 34 and 5 and you end up getting full length which is functional and when you have a truncated one truncated version say you are introducing a extra 47 nucleotide in between edited which can becomes non functional so this is you are doing a 
change onto the adr2 enzyme itself so how enzyme itself is regulating itself so adr2 pre mrna with the 47 nucleotide insertion is seen in this case and it is non functional and this can create cause its own auto regulation so exon 34 of adr2 enzyme and it has got a exon 5 downstream and normal splicing happens and you end up getting a full length functional version but if adr2 is present it can create a a to i change and this is happening in the branch point so branch point of the intron you know there is an a and now this a is not an a the adenosine is no more an adenosine that adenosine is now edited into inosine inosine and because of this it will skip the portion from the branch point until the end of the intron because of this it has got extra 47 nucleotides comes in and this is another way of editing that is you are incorporating extra bases from the intron that is adding 47 nucleotide and this is another way of editing or which cost a complete uh, stretch of amino acid in between exon 3 4 and exon 5 and this truncated this truncation or this modification creates a non functional adr2 so this also can be seen as a auto regulation that means adr2 adequate level is there it will do the job what it is supposed to do that is ampar receptor editing etc if adr2 more is there how will you control it someone has to control the splicing of the adr2 itself how you control it the adr2 will start acting on itself it is just like cutting the tree the branch of the tree where you are sitting so if you are sitting on a branch and you are cutting wisely side branch top branch etc you will be able to gather firewoods what if you are cutting the branch where you are sitting actually there is a good chance you will fall down and it may cause real injury to you same thing this adapto is doing as a way of auto regulation one of the way of regulating it normal adr2 is needed for normal functioning normal editing one we already saw ampa uh, receptor modification but if there is excess more is there how will you reduce it so to reduce that it will always go back to its own rna and this is one way of auto regulation now you can also read this article that is published in nature few years ago almost 20 21 years ago that is regulation of alternative splicing by rna editing it's a very interesting article those who are interested can read and get more insight and more deep knowledge about the subject let us see what are the other functions of rna editing so nuclear retention of alu repeat containing rna so alu repeat is basically alu is a restriction enzyme so which can cut randomly at sequence of course sequence specific manner but plenty of alu binding or alu recognizing uh, restriction uh, alu rec alu enzyme recognizing uh, nucleotide sequences can be there plenty in the genome restriction endonuclease i guess all of you know they are enzymes that can cut in, inside the dna so some repeats are there long repeats they do not have a single alu cutting site so if you take the genomic dna of an organism cut it with alu restriction enzyme then you will end up getting bands you will get long smear and among this smear you will get strong bands like glowing ethidium bromide stained bands you can see which means they don't have cut sites inside and they are repeated sometimes alu repeat containing rna are of very important for them retaining at specific location etc we will see them um, a little bit in the uh, rna export or rna transportation shuttling between the nucleus and the cytoplasm we will see about that but time being you understand that the nuclear retention of certain alu repeat containing rna have got role in the uh, rna editing it's one of the functions of rna editing chemotaxis in worms like worms means c elegans the model organism cnorabditis elegans they are 
they normally live on eating the bacteria so they have attraction and repulsion for certain chemicals something bacterial derived chemical it will go so that it will get its food that is the bacteria and if something is harmful don't want to go there toxic or maybe it can cause its life then it will have a repulsion so the chemotaxis in worms is uh, significantly regulated by rna editing worms mutated in editing do not move towards food properly that means it, it becomes a dumb worm it is basically useless it can also cause life or death situation because if a worm is not able to find its food in a natural condition i don't think this worm will be able to make a good living or it will be even be able to survive so it is very important that it's almost like a lion unable to recognize buffalo or deer so who will give food to the lion so this is very important that rna editing functions if it is defective the animal suffers let us see another example adar 1 basically uh, is one of the enzyme like you are able to see which is causing the trna editing we are now going to understand the trna editing enzyme some we have seen adar 1 adar 2 etc that is involved in the mrna editing whereas some examples we are seeing here they are meant for trna editing and the trna editing also is important we know trna have got anti codon sequence the codons are there in the mrna and the anti codons are present in the trna and anti codon and codon pair together so that the amino acids can come into the correct position in the ribosome so that the peptide synthesis or the protein synthesis can take place effectively so some examples are put inside this box they are the trna editing enzyme so how are they doing let us see more in detail so trna editing is quite interesting we have already seen that specific base of the trna will be edited both for stability and also for recognition by amino acyl trna synthetase etc so that they can be uh, marked or they can be tagged with the amino acids which can participate this trna or charged trna or amino acylated trna can participate in the protein synthesis so to recognize a good trna versus unprocessed or not ready trna this tagging becomes very important just like whether you are eligible to fly abroad or travel abroad you will get your passport will have visa of that country so that means you are eligible you are ready having a flight ticket doesn't allow you to go to uh, any country of course some countries will allow you but many countries don't allow you same logic applies certain modification in the base is necessary for this trna to be recognized as a bona fide uh, substrate for some enzymes that is where trna editing becomes important so many changes happens you know uh, it can uh, change from c to u or a to i so some a to i editing like you can see here we will not go into the detail because just we will touch upon the location you can see here a to i changes is seen in archaea and here in this uh, arm which is basically the anti codon arm the a to i change and here there is another a to i change and this can uh, bring a lot of changes and that will have uh, species specificity sometimes even changing the codon itself and then here comes the cu editing both a to i and c to u happens via deaminases so here c to u change possible and here c to u change possible here it is possible in many places c to u change is possible and remember this is the these three bases are the 1 2 and 3 these three bases are the anti codon part and this changes brings in lot of and where it is changed is not important what we should understand which kind of change happens sometimes it becomes very handy to compensate for lack of certain trna because you want a 10 trna but you have only 5 trna so remaining 5 you can create through this editing because with less you can do more again coming back to the swiss army knife example with one tool you can do many things let us see more in detail about that trna editing and the anti codon arm of trna can bring changes and this trna is meant to carry arginine and here what happens g c and i is there normally 
and if GCI, this is the loop of the tRNA and this is the mRNA. So this is the arginine codon in the mRNA, CGU and it is supposed to have GC and A and this A is now edited to I. This is one change and now let us see another arginine codon CGC and you have G, C and I another one and technically should have been G, C and G okay and but we don't have that uh, we don't have that uh, tRNA with this codon and then comes C, G, A another codon of arginine it should have paired with G, C and U and you don't have that all you have is G, C, I but we already mentioned that inosine have equal affinity for all the bases so cgu can easily pair so gci 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 pairing trna can cater one two three different codon of different sequence of course they all code for arginine cgu cgc cga totally different codons they should have had a unique dedicated trna but just by this conversion of actually this was gca gca's a is converted into i by editing and this made it okay for catering three two more total three codons can be utilized so this is how the evolution has taken place in various organism with less you are able to do more and this is a big achievement when you are talking about the RNA editing and some of them can be very deleterious and very detrimental etc. So we will end the class of this topic uh, today and we will continue with more in detail in the subsequent class and you also keep tracking of what you have learned so far because RNA editing and uh, mRNA, tRNA and various editing enzyme etc. also try to read this extra topics what I am giving uh, in the uh, literature form that is also very important not just reading the reference book. Thank you.